In my opinion, one of the coolest parts of Rocket League is all of the insane mechanics that one can learn. Lately, I've been focusing on getting better at flip resets, solely because, you know, I really find them satisfying. Like, it's really fun for me to be able to hit these shots. And so even though it may not be the, you know, most useful thing ever, I like working on them. And I've also been working on these spinny moves under the ball. Way back in the day, I called these the Pashy Twirl. But, you know, that was like two years ago, and I'm finally actually getting decent at this and dedicating a good chunk of time to this useless mechanic. Now I've made videos talking about all the different amazing mechanics you should probably start learning for Rocket League, but I've never made a video going over the best mechanical players in the game. So today we're looking at current players, not the best mechanical players of all time, and also I'm going to be focusing half on freestylers and half on pros. I feel like there's two levels to mechanical skill, one being the more necessary mechanics like recovering or winning challenges or hitting top corner shots, and these are usually embodied by pro players, and then there's the more or, you know, crazy and somewhat useless mechanics like spinning all over the place while getting endless flip resets while doing whatever this madness is that Novel is doing. My focus in this video isn't really on players who've mastered just one or two mechanics. You know, that is interesting in its own right that you can do that in Rocket League. But, you know, this is more about players who've mastered lots of different mechanics and can really utilize those mechanics at any given time, usually in pretty spectacular fashion. So make sure to give the video a big old juicy like and maybe let us know in the comments who you think is the most mechanically gifted player in the world. Remember, the order of this list really isn't the point here. I definitely find some of these players more impressive than others, but, you know, it's really hard to compare freestylers and pros. This is all just for fun anyways. But yeah, let's kick things off with a player who's been impressing us with his creativity for a few years now, and that is Evample. This player first came into the scene as a flip resetter, and more specifically, the first player to consistently hit double and triple flip resets, and even quad flip resets. But shortly after somewhat mastering this mechanic, Avample moved on to focusing more on competitive play and on other, you know, play styles and mechanics. I hadn't really heard much from Avample after the flip resetting baton was sort of passed on to Gainer. That is, until a few months back when this dribbling challenge trick shot video popped up in my feed. Now this video has gotten like 170,000 views, and if you watch it, you can see why. Evample has mastered dribbling in ways I think I've never really seen before. Everything you see in this video is mechanics, from wave dashing under the ball, to all the little flicks and flip resets, the drifting and the spinning. It's really amazing to watch. Avample has also posted some videos of him spinning and drifting under the ball the way that I showed you guys earlier, except for the fact that he's like a hundred times better than me at it. Anyways, Avample is a crazy mechanical player. I've put his and all of these guys' social info into the description below for you to check out. So, you know, most of them have YouTube channels and Twitters and things like that. So, you know, make sure to check that out in the description below. Alright guys, number 9 on my list goes to a professional player by the name of Scrub Killer. Now I'm guessing you've probably heard of him. I'm not sure that I would have put Scrub on the list if he hadn't started putting out videos from his perspective where you can really see just how good mechanically he is. Even watching a show match with Scrub competing isn't really the same thing as getting to watch an entire match or multiple matches from his perspective. For me, Scrub is the player on this list who really embodies near perfection in what I'll call the essential mechanics, things like 50-50s and challenges, shadow defense, shot placement, and then of course things like recovery mechanics and dribbling. He's flashy, no doubt, sometimes. He hits, you know, unbelievable shots, but his shots are always for a purpose. He never just goes for shots that don't make sense. I feel like Scrub is one of those players who just masters mechanics really quickly so that he can be able to use basically anything in his arsenal at any time. Let's just call Scrub Killer the most well-rounded mechanical player on this list. Basically, he demolished everyone else on this list in a 1v1. Alright, number 8 goes to a freestyler named Muri. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen Muri before. He's sort of known as the first solo freestyler in Rocket League history. Muri's whole game is really mastering individual mechanics, but he's also really good at creating his own mechanics and his own shots. From things like backwards ceiling shot resets, to crazy weird flicks, to, you know, turtle air dribbles. Muri's mechanical skills are primarily creative, 
that's how I would define him as a player. He thinks of shots, like he gets these ideas, and then he grinds at them until they become automatic, which is really a great principle for learning Rocket League mechanics. It's going to feel impossible for the first day, and maybe even the first week, and maybe even the first month, but slowly you'll get it, and sooner or later, in my case, later, honestly, you'll find yourself doing it with ease, and you won't even remember not being able to perform that mechanic. It's all about putting in crazy amounts of time, and I think that's really the big thing that I take away from players like Miri. Okay, let's talk about Novel. What do we even say about this stuff? Novel is probably the craziest mechanical Rocket League player in the world in terms of just like freestyling in his own specific style. He has a really unique style that it's really easy to recognize. His freestyles are these slow, mechanical sort of pieces of art with stalling and freestyling and spinning and backward ceiling shuffling and ceiling resets and backboard touches and whatever else he feels like throwing in there. Novel definitely belongs on this list as one of the more impressive mechanical players in the world. All right, number six goes to the 1v1 man himself, First Killer. Now, First Killer's mechanical prowess is almost like a mix between a player like Scrub and maybe Justin. He's really efficient, mainly using his mechanics to score or, you know, defend or play faster, but he does like to take the ball to the air, even in ones, because he's mastered most of the best moves you can do in the air as well, from top corner air dribbles to flip resets and double touches. All of these moves can only be accomplished through hours and hours of practice and free play, learning and really mastering the mechanics of them. All right, number five goes to a crazy freestyler named Jaxi, who I first saw on Johnny Boy's stream in a freestyle 1v1 versus Muri. Jaxi does a lot of weird things, like he does turtle air dribbles, a lot of musty flicks, and even this crazy move where he bounces his car and the ball off the backboard, getting a flip reset, and then banging the ball back into the goal. It's just... Yeah, what in the world? Jaxi is really an amazing, creative, mechanical player. Some of the shots he hit during the 1v1 freestyle show match are pretty much unthinkable to me. I also love the way he flips off the edge of the goalpost to give himself a reset. It's a nice little weird move. Very clean. Yeah, Jax, he's, he's pretty insane. Number four on my list goes to the professional player for FC Barcelona, and that is Bluey. Now, I've always considered Bluey one of the best mechanical players in the world, and especially in the pro scene. My first experience with really seeing his mechanical skills was the air dribble 1v1s that he did a while back on Johnny Boy's stream. I had never seen someone implement tornado spinning in the same way that he did. It was like flashy, but still useful. Kind of like spinning into a flip reset, which which is something I've started doing. It's hard to explain why it's useful and it doesn't look useful, but it really is. Like it really just throws off the players trying to defend you. And it's also a really weird, unique way to set up great angles and shots. Though Bluey's team failed to qualify for LAN, which was really sad because they were such a dominant team towards the beginning of league play, Bluey really showed just how good he was this season. All right guys, number three goes to the RLCS newcomer Astral, a player for Dignitas who has shown insane mechanical skills this season. If there's been a highlight reel from any tournament he's played in, he was either in it or like at the top of it. This guy goes for crazy shots all the time. And what's really insane and why I'm really putting him in this list is that he seems to pull these shots off more than often. Like if he goes for something highly mechanical, he usually makes it work. Number two on my list goes to Rezzy. Now Rezzy is, I don't, yeah, I don't even know what to say. He's one of the craziest all around Rocket League players I think who's ever played this game. He's a master of flashy double touches and flip resets, dribbling plays and flick plays. All in all, Rezzy is probably my favorite freestyler to watch these days, just because of how creative he is mechanically. Like who thinks to do shots like this? Doesn't even make sense. All right guys, number one on my list for the most impressive mechanical Rocket League player goes to Justin, the pro sort of freestyler-ish streamer man. 
and you know, he's probably gonna be the season eight world champion. This video is being made before RLCS, but it's coming out after RLCS. So, you know, maybe we can all be like, oh my God, Flume predicted it because, you know, I've been so good at predicting what's gonna happen these days in RLCS. Anyways, Justin is a mechanical freak and he's really one of the first pro players to play competitive Rocket League in a stylish, highly mechanical way, obviously alongside players like Squishy and others. Justin is and was, when he first came into the scene, a new brand of Rocket League pros. He's good at everything, but he's a mechanical genius. He hones his mechanics and ball control and car control to such a level that even against the absolute best defenders in the world, he manages to pull off ridiculous shots. At first, I really didn't know that this kind of playstyle would work. I remember when he first started streaming when he first joined NRG, this kid just seemed to play like a freestyler. But when he's on the pitch, it's all controlled and planned. He waits for his opportunity, and then he just does the unthinkable. And that's really only possible when you practice mechanics for hours and hours on end. All right, guys, there's my picks for the 10 best mechanical Rocket League players. Let me know what you guys think, and I hope you're having a good week. We'll see you next time. Peace out.